It's time for Reply Al. Remember, friend or foe, I want to know. Mob rights, will Republicans' negative comments and actions help motivate people to vote them out of office? There's a popular saying, let your haters be your motivators. Well, that popular saying is true. You know, Mark, the more people come with ugliness and insensitivity, the more they show people we better get up and do something. I know in my own activism, the uglier people and the more irrational people got, the more they made the case for me. It's almost like political martial arts. You learn to use the weight of your opponent to your advantage. So vote and expose those that are not in the interest of American people. Finally tonight, a symbol of hope. In the rubble of 9-11 attacks, survivors found this single tree that survived the devastation of that day, the survivor tree. Today it stands tall at the 9-11 memorial, a symbol of resilience after tragedy. And now the September 11th memorial has launched a new program, sending seedlings from this tree to communities that embody that spirit. Seedlings are being sent to Boston in remembrance of the city's strength after the marathon bombings. Also to Prescott, Arizona, in honor of the 19 firefighters who lost their lives this summer. And to the Far Rockaways here in New York, a community hit hard by Hurricane Sandy. I remember 12 years ago today, I was in New York, in Brooklyn, when the World Trade Centers were attacked. And I remember going to my headquarters and talking to people who didn't know if their loved ones were living or dead. I remember a young man that stayed with my family, friends of my daughters, for nine weeks as he struggled, waiting every time the phone rang because his mother worked in the World Trade Center and he hoped every time that phone rang, it was her telling him she was all right or someone that found her. And little by little, that little boy had to realize his mother was never coming back. She was not part of the foreign policy of the country. She had nothing to do with what the conflict was about. You see, it's ordinary people that suffer as a result of decisions made by those at the top. That's why 9-11, we remember ordinary people, and ordinary people need to be protected and respected. Thanks for watching. I'm Al Sharpton.